can't help it, but this color makes me happy. <laughs> Hard to imagine, multi-million dollar designer Eli Tahari arrived in New York City more than 30 years ago with just $100 in his pocket. Today, his fashion is on display across five continents in more than 600 stores. Oh, we, we're going to make it together. But the designer himself wasn't always dressed for success. My father was 25, four kids and no job, so it's, and I was a second child. Uh, so I, I get the second clothes. <laughs> you got the hand-me-downs. Eli like, Tahari like, wearing hand-me-downs as a child. After his family fled Iran for Israel, Tahari was raised in an orphanage, and he eventually served in the Israeli Air Force. He moved to New York City in his 20s with nothing, homeless and sleeping on park benches. Did you appreciate sleeping in Central Park? I appreciated the air I breathed in Central Park. I, I always was in a mood of survival. By day, he worked as an electrician. By night, he sold women's clothing. And then the light bulb went off. He wanted to make the clothes himself. When I came to New York, I, I, I worked in a women's boutique because I liked you know, I, I never been around women. You like the ladies. Absolutely. <laughs> so I, it was it's, it's an attraction. His big break, 1978, Studio 54, Ellie Tahari's first fashion show. But we launched our brand, Ellie Tahari, in Studio 54. What was that like, that first moment for you? Well, I, I always appreciate what I did and I loved what I did. The challenges. You love it so much that you don't mind doing it. You don't mind sweeping the floor. You swept the floor? I did everything. We have Ellie Tahari to thank for the popularity of the tube top in the 1970s. He gave women their first tailored suits in the 1980s. And today, his clothes are synonymous with the successful career women. Women are best the way God created them. When I was an ego, I used only skinny, tall models, and my business went down. Yeah. So ego is not good for business. I like it. Right. Thank you so, for dressing us normal gals. That's right. <laughs> At what point across your lifetime here in Manhattan did you realize, I made it? Well, that's a tough question, because I haven't felt that feeling. The older I get, the more I love what I do, and the more I feel that I have work to do. At his New York Fashion Week presentation, his designs evoke the latest trends in technology and edge. He even has R&B queen Mary J. Blige singing his praises. When I feel professional, I feel comfortable most of all. <laughs> work that. Work that. <laughs> So from sleeping in Central Park to showing his new collection on Fifth Avenue, has Ellie Tahari finally arrived? Everyone's staring at your beautiful designs. You're still telling me you haven't made it in the fashion world? This is after a lot of hard work. So to stand here and to think we arrived, it's only the beginning of what to come. Brooke Baldwin, CNN, New York.